Hi Leo, welcome to Heaven Healing and Tarot. This is Christina. Today we're going to be getting you some messages. Let's see what Spirit wants you to know. What's going on in your energy? Uh, before I get started though, I always send out some healing. So take a deep breath with me in through the nose and out through the mouth. Are you ready? Here we go. All right, the first thing I'm going to do is pull you some angel numbers. Let's see what comes out. So we have four, zero, four, one. Four, zero, four, one. That's an interesting number. I'm going to write that down. I know they're small. I'm sorry. I'm going to write that down. I'll be back. Okay, Leo, I sneezed all over the cards. Um, let's get your cards. Here we go. The Lovers, King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, good start, Page of Swords, and The Sun. Oh my goodness, this is going to be an amazing read. All right, so Leo, um, you have the Lovers here, which is a soulmate connection. So either you're in a soulmate connection, right? you're going to be or you're going to have a choice between two lovers coming in oh i don't know let's see what happens the king of pentacles is somebody who has the midas touch right now i feel i kind of feel like that's you but i also feel like the queen of wands is you too you're making your dreams come true you're just making things happen and that's the the energy you're in you're in both so king of pentacles making his own money making making everything he touches turns to gold and the queen of wands just you know confident and ambitious and making her dreams come true that's beautiful energy to be in um and it's leading towards your son which is complete happiness right but now we have the page here the page of swords is about learning something new or having new ideas um so I do feel like you're you're going to be starting something new or you're headed towards something new. Um, it could be a new uh, business project, something like that. But it's going to lead to happiness. So that's beautiful. Let's get some more cards and see where this goes. Um, because the sun is just complete joy and bliss, right? That's what we all want. We all want our sun. Oh, but you do feel like the wounded warrior right now. Hmm, that's interesting. Okay, let's get some more. Two of Wands, being patient, the waiting game could mean travel. Three of Wands, partnerships and alliances, or waiting for your ships to come in. And Eight of Pentacles, working hard. So maybe you've been putting in a lot of work. You've been really mastering your craft and really trying to get something off the ground. And you kind of feel a little beat up over it. But they're saying have some patience because there's somebody coming in. There could be a new partnership or new alliance or something that gets you to your goal. Um, you have the Midas touch right now. So don't worry too much about it. They see that they, you've been working hard. Um, and that all feels like a money read, right? But you got the lovers up there. So this could be a, a, a love reading. Unless you're working with your soulmate in business. I don't know. Let's just get more cards. Let's see where this is going because this is a, you know, it could be anything. It's kind of interesting. Whatever it is, it's really good though. <laughs> All right, let's go. Archangel Gabriel wants to open up your throat chakra. So you need to speak your truth. You need to stand up for yourself about something. Um, it could also be about communication. They, um, You need to speak up for yourself for some way, somehow, some reason. Drop 
between cards. Hang on one second. Easy does it. Stop trying so hard to control everything. The doors will open for you. Okay. Okay, but that's what the king and queen does. They're making their dreams come true. So they're saying, um, stop forcing this. Okay, so it comes on top of the waiting game, right? So they're just saying, have patience. Um, there might be a different path, okay? One that you're not seeing completely. So just have patience. Stop trying so hard to control everything because really control is an illusion, right? And, um, but I think the opportunities are really going to present itself to you clearly. I think you're really, uh, with that page of swords, I think you're really going to learn something new and, and you're going to see it more clearly than you're seeing it now. You're trying to force something right now and they're saying, you know, ease up. Okay, because you're putting up resistance here. Free falling. Now that's about being the captain of your own ship. You know, this is about not doing what anybody else wants you to do, but doing what you want to do. This is you're in control of your own life. I mean, again, control is an illusion, but, you know, this is like, again, taking um, responsibility for your actions, um, being the captain of your own ship, you know, doing it for you, doing, doing you being in charge, you know, don't let somebody... Um, take over that power. Don't give that power away. You're the captain. Oh man, this is starting to get become a strange reading for me. It still feels very business like, but I'm the, that lovers up there has me thrown off a little bit. Only time will tell. So I, maybe, all right, there's partnerships and alliances. Maybe you're going to be working with a soulmate and uh, time will tell if they stay on board with you because um, I'm kind of feeling like it's um, your ship to run. It's your, you're in control and they might not, they might not like that. They might be fighting you for control here. But source is reminding you to just don't fight for control. Just let it, let things happen the way that they should, but still do the things that you want. Still make sure you're following your happiness. You're taking the steps to your son, to your bliss. I hope this is making sense. Complicated read, Leo. It's more complicated than... Um, I think I'm complicating it myself. I don't know. Let's see. Resilience. Rise above tribulations. Yeah, so I... See, I kind of felt like there was some conflict here. Even though that conflict card's not here, you do have the wounded warrior. So whatever's not going right correctly... You're going to get over them. You're, you're going to correct it. You're, everything's going to be okay. You're going to get over those obstacles. You're going to navigate it correctly. <laughs> Conclusions are within reach. Okay. Okay. So I, I feel like uh, you're going to have your answers soon. And, and the end of a, a, a bumpy period it might be coming to an end here. True love. This is a romance of a lifetime. Maybe this is about love then. Wow. Okay. So let's look at it from a love perspective, right? You got the lovers here. So this is a soulmate. And maybe, maybe one of your lovers is the king of the king of pentacles and maybe you're the queen of wands um or vice versa right and you're going to be learning something you're going to have all these new ideas on how to come together 
can it's going to lead you to your son your happiness but if you've been single for a while you do feel like the wounded warrior and you do need to have a little bit of patience your your path will be illuminated somebody's going to come in for you right because this is something that you've worked hard at but you do have to speak your truth you do have to be honest and open you do have to stand up for yourself you have to go for what you want but um you know don't try to control the outcome don't try to force things you know and again don't listen to anybody else you're the captain of your ship so you're the one who who gets to say um where you're where you're directing the ship and you're directing it towards your happiness right and only time will tell if you're on the right path but or if your person will succumb i don't i don't know what that is only time will tell i don't like that card because you know you're getting your son so it shouldn't be only time will tell right and then what does this say i forget what this one is this one is resilience okay so if you you, you know if somebody said no to you before uh they might be saying yes to you soon conclusions where they're in reach they're going to come around because this is true love okay so we just read it for like a love thing. So let's get a final card. Let's see what this hidden world card is. And uh, you know, you guys can tell whether this is love or money. The gift, present, honoring, offering. The gift, the gift, the gift, the gift. You are being offered a gift from spirit. So even though it might not feel like it, you are this gift could come in the form of like knowledge or a download or just an intuition or gut feeling right and i do feel like your life is going to change and you're going to change too in many ways you are being given a gift from spirit this is beautiful maybe they are bringing you a soulmate in interesting all right all right leo let's get you some charms this is kind of crazy all right what do we got oh isn't this funny we've got the lighthouse what's it and we're using the captain of your ship analogy right sailing navigating the waters to your to your happiness they're gonna like the way they are. They're going to light the way. But there is some kind of a change. There is some kind of a transformation going on, which is good. And they're acknowledging that you are in control here. You you are in your power. You're stepping into your power with this crown. <gasps> Look, you got the anchor. <laughs> Ship analogies again. <laughs> so funny. They, they want you to know that things are going to come back into balance. That's my balance charm. But you, may, you might have to cut ties with the past, I feel like. I don't know why I'm feeling past with this, but you need to cut ties with what no longer serves you, all right? There's there's a change. There's a transformation here. Um, they're giving you a gift, and you're going to change. So cut cut away all the old, okay? Somebody either have has the key to your heart, or that's the key to success, depending on how you took this reading. And I feel like there's no, going to be no more games. No more games played. You're on the right path. You just have to have a little bit of patience. Not a lot, a little bit, because it is a waiting game. But you're going to overcome that wounded warrior feeling. And you're going to have true love, regardless of what it is. I love this reading, even though it confused me a little bit. I love this reading. I feel really good about this reading. <laughs> anyway, Leo, that's all I have for you. I hoped it was helpful. I really do. Um, if not, it was entertaining, right? <laughs> Give the video a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel because that does help me. makes me very grateful. Thank you for that. And until next time, love and light.